Before the constant news cycle where information could be quickly shared across the globe, citizens of Round Rock were getting their news from local newspapers. The year is 1883. You go to retrieve your weekly paper with all the news and happenings of Round Rock. You grab your copy of the weekly Quidnunc to start the day. Quidnunc translates in Latin to what now, but was commonly used to refer to a busybody or gossip. Before the Round Rock leader took over as the news source in Round Rock, there were several other papers in circulation. The weekly Quidnunc, the two Round Rocks, the Headlight, and the Round Rock Survivor were all papers angling for readers in the past. There is differing information about when the Round Rock leader first started printing. Sources vary from 1887 to the early 1900s. The paper passed through various hands until it was bought by John Herring Cavanaugh in 1929. The Cavanaugh family is the most notable of the early owners because they made the family business thrive. Mr. Cavanaugh and his wife ran the paper with the help of their children for many years. Their daughter, May, kept up the family tradition into the 1950s and was renowned for her skill at operating the handset type. The press and paper were featured in a Wall Street Journal article in 1955 as one of the last operating hand presses. The Kavanaugh family sold the paper in the 1970s. The Round Rock Leader is now part of the Austin American Statesman network of papers and continues to print local news three times a week. A shared copy is available at the Round Rock Public Library now, and microfilmed copies of the Round Rock Leader dating back to the 1930s are also available to read.